Hi. Um. Yeah. Here's my sketchbook. This is my book. Ta-da. It's the second... It's not the second sketchbook I've ever had. I had a lot of sketchbooks in my time as a human being. But it's the second sketchbook I've actually worked in rather than just was a child who drew things. As promised, I'm doing a sketchbook tour, so I should probably zoom out. It'll probably be good. Sorry about the swaying. My camera, aka my phone, is literally suspended from the ceiling right now. So, yeah. Um... I guess I'm going to go through the book now. So here's the cover page. We don't talk about what's under these sticky notes. Um, yeah. This, I made this, I think, I want to say June 2021? Either May or June. One of the two. A lot of the stuff in here is a little out of order from when I actually drew it because sometimes I just like... So, sometimes I skip pages, sometimes I go back and draw on the back of a page. Sticky notes are just randomly strewn out. It's a it's a thing, you know? Yeah. So, this was a little comic I was planning on doing about hitting on 16. Uh, I never made it, obviously, uh, but it was really cute. And here's the, another scene from it. Um, and Basil, my friend Pico made me draw that and then subsequently got me deep into Amori which I've never actually watched it by the way I've wanted to but uh all I've done is read 18 pages out of the wiki during a particularly boring math class sorry for the swing again it's I can't do anything about it sorry uh yeah so this is where I came up with like ideas to put on the cover Originally, it was this one, but like a little different. Again, if I find the photo, I'll put it in the video somewhere. Uh, and then eventually I changed it to this design, which morphed into this one you see here today. By the way, let me just tell you, this isn't, it's not in good condition. I've taken it to quite a few camps. Uh, camping, uh, I think I threw it out a window once. I don't know, It's it's been through quite a bit um I was struggling man I was struggling to figure out what to draw so yeah this is the first drawing I ever did in in the book itself yeah uh these are I got these markers right uh they were a new pigment pack I was really excited about them so I was like trying out different skin and hair types because I thought it was really cool and Admittedly, they do look really cool. I, sp I particularly like this one. <sighs> this one's also really good. I like how that turned out. I'm not sure if many people will, but I liked it. Yeah. So. Uh, we have Nikki Nye Chewing Technoblade. I think this was the beginning. Oh, uh, not the beginning. It was around... A little after I joined the fandom. A couple, like, six months after I started watching, but, uh, like, right as I joined the fandom, Will was revived. I was like, you know, might as well draw Nikki Naichu. She's pretty cool. So I drew her, and then I tried drawing Technoblade. I still struggle with his design, my goodness. My goodness me. Uh, more random drawings, because I had nothing better to do. Uh... You know, Rainbow and Boer. Well, well was just revived. This, that's my friend at summer camp, almost a year ago. Like just under a few weeks, a year ago. That was my friend. I don't know why I didn't draw her face. Probably because I couldn't see it. But yeah, I was really proud of that because I just like saw it and then I drew it, and that was nice. <laughs> And this was me teaching one of my friends how to draw. Obviously, this one's mine, this one's mine, and these are hers. They're, um, they were 13, I think. I was 14 at the time. Again, more swatching. I got new colors, new pens. I was, like, really excited about it, and I was like, 
yay and so I swatched them you know and this was more of me you know my old my old character I drew her quite a bit honestly it got a little annoying uh, again, more random doodles. Tommy and I really liked this drawing. This was my favorite drawing, and I used it in, like, artist supports all the time. Um, I really liked how the shading and, like, the, the pencil, like, the graphite, like, it looked. I really liked it, and I did really well, and I was so proud of it. And then I drew this one, and then I drew Ranbu, and then I drew Tubbo a couple months later on the same page. I don't even know what it was. I do. I do. Um, it was someone on Twitter said something like, if if you were a content creator, what would your chat be? And I was like, hmm, I'm going to try this with my character. And so I drew a couple designs. Y'all are buckets. Like little tiny little, like the little plastic buckets. Not not like good buckets. Not like this this kind of bucket. But, like, the tiny little plastic Dollar Tree fake buckets, you know? That is what you are. That is what you are. Amesy! That's, 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 that's when I started watching Bear SMB. I drew Amesy, and I was like, oh, yeah, this looks so good. Uh, this was my attempt at drawing Ramboo angst. Uh, and then I drew Michael instead. Uh, this, yeah. But, yeah, that was... That's the fish tank at Las Nevadas in Tuburger. Yeah, I didn't. I did not have high hopes for Tuburger, so <gasps> it's Opa. Oh my goodness, it's Opa. Oh yeah, and this the sad little drawing right here. That's um, yeah. But Opa, this is the first time I drew Opa. I'm gonna I'm gonna share this story. Okay, so um, basically. Uh, I met, well, I found, I, the first time I interacted with Opa, right, was, um, we both replied to a MCYT artist, like, you know the account MCYT artist, we both replied with our, like, they were asking for Sonas to draw, and we both replied, and I saw Opa's, and I was like, that's cool, and so I drew it, and then I posted it, like, four months after I drew it, and Opal was like, oh my gosh, that's cool. And then she liked it and retweeted it. And then didn't follow me back until like two months later when I did her de draw this in your style. So yeah. Oh, that's a more recent drawing. Yeah. I know oh my, the, the, the weight, like the way I centered it. This, 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 this is extremely off balance, and I know that because I put it in Ibis Paint to, like, redraw it, and I flipped the canvas, because I was like, something's not right here, so I was like, you know, might as well flip the canvas. It looked terrible. I'm not lying to you. It, oh my goodness. Uh, so, yeah. This is, um, let me read this. This is the script to the new chapter of closet and imperfection that I'm probably not gonna post until August maybe because I don't have it done and I'm not gonna finish it in the next three days before I leave so yeah uh, here's the script read it if you want to I already posted an, an, another version so yeah anyway here's the start of Rain Timber brand colors, you know. I kind of like this drawing. It's not my best, but I did good considering I was not good at art. Well, I was good at art. I just wasn't amazing. I'm not as good. I, I wasn't as good as I am now. I'm still not good, but like, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> More random drawings, you know, just my brother asked me how to draw a person and I was like, you know, the, the line of action box, box, legs yeah <laughs> more ran temper this was cottage core this was really cute um i i could have done better with the designs this was back when i got the um the the colors on his face mixed up like all the time and i would keep referring back to my art when i was wondering which side was which and that only messed me up more 
so yeah you're gonna see a lot of black on the on the on the right side when it should be on the left but you know yeah this is Ren Timber again. This is the first time I actually drew a Rainbow Angst because I actually enjoyed it. Um, I really liked drawing this one. I got some poses I've never done before. Like, I used to do, like, just portraits. Um, but this one I, like, fit his entire body in. And it was, like, in a, in a not stationary pose. So, day four. Catboy. Uh, I, I don't talk about that um this was a failed six characters thing to get me out of art block i did terrible at it so i just gave up and day five merch uh this was right at the start of his merch drop i drew all that and i was like oh that looks so cool and so i drew it the photo i took of it didn't look good because see it's like it's on the crease so, yeah. heels heels was nice i really liked this drawing i thought it was hilarious and i also liked this one Mostly because it got me, like, that that little floof style hair that I drew him with for the longest time. I also learned how to draw heels, so that was also a plus. And then I also drew IRL boot. Because, you know, yeah. OMG, look, it's Opa. It's Opa again. If you couldn't tell, I draw him a lot. Uh, <laughs> Brie Lavovi. Brie Lafobie, yeah. I uh, uh, then day eight was in someone else's style, so I I chose Brie Lafobie because they were my favorite artist at the time. Uh, and then day nine, wait, day, day ten was Origin. Wait, day ten was a uh, hundred day hardcore. Any OGs remember 100 Day? Like, what? It wasn't 100 Days. It was, what was it? Um, free Trial SMP. Dude, Free Trial SMP was such a fail. Like, they played for a week and then they gave up because everyone was dead and it was just not enough space. It was, it was hilarious. Uh, but also really sad. Anyway, uh, day 12 was Canon Ranbu. So, I drew. Ran Van Wil Ranbu Wilburger Ran Van Rambu. <laughs> that that's a tongue twister. It's really not, but it is. And then the day thirteen was a dress. I really liked that drawing. It was my favorite drawing at the time. I was like, <sighs> give me more, you know. Uh Generation. I did not know what Generation Loss was. I'm gonna be honest. I did not know what it was for the longest time. Yeah. And then Rand Moms. Yeah. That was all of that. Pretty Woman. Tubbo. Oh, this is so outdated, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But yeah, this is Tubbo. Uh, TW for scars. Um, yeah. I think this was supposed to be Origins Tubbo. This is Origins Tubbo. This was supposed to be Origins Tubbo, but I couldn't quite figure it out. I'm so glad I got better at drawing B person. Oh my goodness, I am so good at it now. Like, but yeah, more Tommy. I really like this drawing. This is a really cute drawing. I'm... He's just adorable, you know? My friend was drawing something in class, and I was like, you know, I want to draw that too, and so I did. Uh, this was the comic from earlier, but, like, more fleshed out. Hold on, let me find it. Yeah, this and this are the same thing. Yeah. I honestly think this was like the best it could be stretched out a bit more and the formatting was a bit wrong but I think I'm literally just gonna redraw it rather than reformat and script it because I can't get a new like this just I hit the mark here uh look it's Pico Pico drew this and then our friends should I say round table I'm gonna say round table because that's their IG IGN, um, 
yeah, Pico drew that, and we, all three of us drew that one. Uh, those are random drawings. This was for, this was me figuring out what I was going to draw for, um, what was it, uh, Dream is MP Secrets, Artist Secret Santa. I participated in that. Yeah. Ranbu from Origins. This is, um, pretty sure this was Bugs's D draw this in your style. It was for, like, 100, I think. I never posted it. I feel bad I never posted it, but I just, I couldn't find the motivation to finish it. Uh, this is Technoblade. Oh my goodness, that is not what a ribcage looks like. Just letting you know, that that is not what a ribcage looks like. It is what a pig skull looks like, but it's not what a ribcage looks like. It's literally nothing. Um, that was when I wanted to do commissions. That was, like, basically what I was planning on charging. Um, yeah. This, this was a planning piece for, uh, this. I painted it. It's on, it stays on my wall now. Uh, these were, like, thoughts on avians. Yeah. Uh, difference between avians and only trains. Literally. Um, this, uh, this is a never-before-seen chapter of Closeted Imperfection, so I'm just gonna close my... And you're not gonna see... She's pretty. I had a crush on her. She has a boyfriend, though. She's nice. She pulled me out of being a shut-in recluse and, like, actually made me interact with people. And for that, I am internally grateful and have a slight crush on her. But, you know... Yeah, I'll see her again eventually. She also inducted me into a paper crane cult. Because she saw I made them. And she was like, oh, you like you like folding paper cranes. Cool. Uh, just write this here. Uh, hide them around the school. And yeah. And I was like, that seems like a good idea. And so I did it. Uh, it was like for a, a scavenger hunt thing. Yeah. But yeah, she inducted me into a crane cult. More commissions, you know. Eventually I'll open them, uh, open them as soon as I figure out how PayPal works. Yeah. I just have various sticky notes hiding about. Oh uh, yeah, oh my goodness. <gasps> these were these were frames for the unsaid tubbo animatic that I did. <gasps> Dude, I did that at like oh my goodness, I did that at like ninety four followers. So like half half my followers don't even know I did an animatic. Guys, go watch that. It's the other video on the channel, by the way. I'm ju just saying it's really nice. It's not the best quality because I was a beginner artist and had and did it on Ibis Paint and edited the clips together. But it's really nice and you get lovely, lovely scenes like this and this and this and well, that's not in there. But this is look at yeah, this lovely scene is there. Uh, so is all these. Yeah, this was me storyboarding because when I was a phone artist, I would like what I did would um. What I would do is I would draw something in my sketchbook, and then I'd take a picture of it, and then I'd trace over it in Ibis Paint. It's not tracing if it's your own work, okay? Don't cancel me. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I did when I was a phone artist. Uh, now I have a tablet, uh, but I might... But I have been regressing back into using Ibis Paint. I've got, I'm better at it, too, though, so... Because I do more lineless work, which makes it so much easier. Oh, yeah, this is also this lovely, this lovely little shot. It's also in there. So this was, um, this was me drawing actual people faces, trying to, trying out semi-realism. Real, real, <laughs> realistic, realistic drawing. That's what I'm calling it. That, yeah, I just... I, I turned on, like, a face generator, and then I just drew those, so, yeah. Uh, this is more Pico. This is round table, like, face, you know, I drew, I drew them. Uh, more Brie Lavovi. Because why not? Uh, Brie Lavovi is pretty cool. You know, back from the Everwinter. Season 2, I want to say. 
uh, falls. Uh, this is, what's under there? Oh, that's Phil's in Minecraft, okay. This is Opa, again. This is Bugs, drawings. Um, this is Ender, or Random, or Mania, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, yeah. And this is Mochi, Mika. Also, another one of my really cool moots that I haven't talked to in forever, so. These were little drawings I did on post-it notes during, I wanna say, it was either my board of review for Life Scout or a merit badge class. But I remember it was a Zoom call and I wasn't No, actually, it was my um, uh, hazardous weather training that I needed for camp. Uh, I got bored because I had to redo it like four times because it wouldn't give me the certificate. Um, so I drew these. But yeah, this one I drew at a slight angle so you, you kind of got to like view it from the side. And not straight on where it looks weird. Uh, that's an eye. These, these, this is David. That's a random person. B duel, obviously, because B duel is amazing. And we love them. And this was like, this is supposed to be the wedding. Boats. I learned how to draw boats for Rose's Draw This in Your Style. I love the boats, and oh my goodness, I love drawing boats because, uh, oh my goodness, oh, shoot, do that. I never actually posted that. <laughs> because, uh, I couldn't, like, I lost motivate because, like, I spent so much time trying to figure out how to draw it, uh, that, um, once I figured it out, I didn't want to draw it anymore, I just kind of lost motivation, sorry, I'm messing with erasers, but yeah, I lost motivation, so I kind of didn't post it, I did post the sketch, though, which is right here, this is, this is what I came up with in the end, uh, yeah, it was incredibly detailed, especially with the boat, because, um, she included, um, sorry if I got the pronouns wrong, um, but she included, uh, a boat in the, in the, in, like, one of the rules, like, you had to include the boat, and I was like, I want to do this right, and so I learned how to draw boats, and then I tried, then I really really tried getting perspective and everything as, as you can probably tell um and it just it wasn't i did a lot of little things and you know i just couldn't find a way to like fit all three of them in and all the all the elements that was required so i just kind of gave up and i posted the sketch instead on like a uh because i remember i like did an info like i just took pictures and I just, like, dumped it all into one singular Twitter post. It was a thread. I just, like, yeah. This is another random person from an AI generator, but I liked it so much that I gave him a name. Um, this is, I really wanted to do, like, more, like, spreads. Like this, where I, like, learned how to draw something and, like, planned out an entire uh, illustration, but, like, without actually having to do the illustration, and so this was me trying to figure out what to draw. I erased it a lot, not gonna lie. Um, this is what I finally landed on, and then I came back, uh, two days later, and I, d and I did this, and I liked it a lot more. I wanted to draw it, like, actually, but I didn't have the time nor motivation because I had exams. Uh, yeah. This is, um, random once more uh told me to draw not told me but like suggested i draw a, co a crow skull with an allium and i was like oh that sounds so cool and so i did and i was like i really like drawing bird skulls so i chose an owl and i want to say that's a corn flower um these are notes for english class these are ideas i got I had for um, a history project where we had to draw someone you looked up to with a halo, like like iconography and everything. Um, I chose Rambo because, uh, like, I, I thought of Apo, but I chose Rambo because um, that was around, like, we had to write an essay about all the good things they did and why they're someone to look up to. And, uh, that was right around the time Guardian was doing the person of the year thing. And I was like, 
really thinking about all the good and amazing things Rambo has done with his platform, right? And I was like, I'm going to do this project about him. And so I did. And I probably don't have it anymore, but I'm willing to look. So, Because that was, a, oh my goodness, that was a really good essay. I wrote it in like 20 minutes. And these were like uh, little environments that I was drawing, like ideas for like setting the scene in the new episode. Not the next one, but the one after that. Um... As you can probably tell, there's a big fancy place uh, coming up, and I was gonna draw them all in like really nice outfits. This was uh, back when the little, the, the, the little, little, little picture of, I'm messing with things, the little picture, like the, the trend where it's like, what, what, if I were a weapon, what would I be? And I just, and I got such good responses, I was like, you know, I'm gonna draw that, and then I did. It's not all of them. Oh, that was fun. Uh, David birthday art. I'm not telling you when it was, but yeah. This is me planning my first beloved's drawing. <laughs> Again, wouldn't be a sketchbook without a bit of math. Uh, this is uh, this is trigonometry. Ooh, 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 yeah. ooh. Um, these were compositions I was doing for like drawing ideas nothing really special I never went anywhere with this but I was like trying to figure out how negative space worked that though is a really good idea and I might use it eventually but yeah I also like this one that it's a good use of negative space um, or at least it looks like it is uh someone told me to draw a lamp so I drew a lamp and then and I also drew Cammy. That's not Cammy. Obviously, that's not Cammy. But I don't know who that is. But I drew them. Uh, I'm getting better at doing different body sizes and types. Um, but yeah, this is Cammy. We love Cammy. That's a trans flag. If you couldn't tell, I didn't get all the stripes in though. That's odd. Hmm. Um, I'm never gonna do this, so I might as well um show it. Uh, pause. Uh, yeah, so this was an animatic idea I had, um, for the song So What by Pink. Um, so basically what's happening in this is Tubbo's grieving over Ranboo. Um, See Tubbo's grieving over Cranboo. So basically, um, what I got from Ames's first lore stream, the one when he, when they died, right? Um, for the first time. Tubbo grieving pretty bad, but like in a violent sort of way. Like he, he's a bit pissed, uh, that people are leaving him. He's having a hard time accepting that Rainbow's gone and in general, just having a bad time. What was I talking about? Um, right, so he's grieving, he's violent, he's upset, uh, but he's sad inside. So this is basically, um, it followed, like, uh, we start with, like, scenes from, like, like, environments and stuff, like, the old mansion, his new base with Aaron, um, uh, him moving out of the mansion, like, packing up his things and leaving, um, him meeting Amesy, him being unreasonably pissed at Amesy for, uh, you know, just existing, uh, he, basically Amesy was just there. Uh, he would have done it if it was anyone. If Tommy was there, probably not. But, like, if it was Puffy or Foosh or, like, didn't matter who it was, Tubbo was just taking it out on someone. He also found an inn with Amesy being living in his mansion, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, this is just basically him killing Amesy. Uh, and... Just basically, he goes back to the mansion, 
and he sees it and he gets flashbacks to when he and Ranbu were living there and working there. Um, and yeah, it's just generally very sad. And then it ends with Amesy being kicked out. And yeah, that was the animatic I had planned. I never got around to doing it. Um, I'm hoping someday, some I, so, sometime, someday I will be able to actually learn how to do it and execute it how I wanted to. Next we have Opus D.T. Uh, so this is getting into more recent days. Um, you know, Event Horizon B-Duo, flowers, hugging, you know, basic stuff. Uh, this was me also trying to figure out how a certain frame, pretty sure it was, let me see, where is it? This frame. I was trying to figure out how I would draw Amesy in this frame. Um, if, dude, I recently drew another frame similar to this, uh, for another comic, and if I had remembered that I had this here, <sighs> You know, and this is Tubbo, Crazy Tubbo, Grieving Tubbo, Villain Arc Tubbo, you know. Tubbo deserves a Villain Arc. We've, we've, we've known this forever. Like, Tubbo, Tubbo deserves it. Uh, he's been through a lot. He deserves to go a little ape shit. Maybe not villain, but, like, he deserves to go crazy, at least for a bit. You know, at least until Rambo's back. <laughs> we have Casey. You know, and this very accurate representa representation of Belle's height. This is a comic about Odysseus that I did for a school project. Um, yeah. It was good. I won. It, it wasn't a contest, but I won. Uh, and this is the nice little spread that I did for Event Horizon before I finished Aterra and found out about all the sad things that happened. Ooh, yeah. Uh, it, uh, my happiness didn't last long, but I, I've been trying to redraw this for ages. And it just, I can't figure out how to color it because all the scenes are drastically different in light levels. So, I, I don't know. I might just have to rearrange some panels or something, but like, it's just not working, my guy. <laughs> this is, I tried to do the 100 heads challenge. I gave up a couple times, not gonna lie, but I'm ge I was getting there. I kind of gave up. Um, proposing. I wanted to do this because Opa came up with an idea, and I was like, "Oh, Opa, let's, I'm, 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 I'm gonna draw that." And then I did the sketches, and then I went to sleep, and then I p forgot about it. Um, these are scenes from a the Michael fic that I wrote for English class because um, adding images got you extra credit. I didn't actually turn these in, but I drew them anyway, so yeah. And then, uh, this was a um, in, uh, arranged marriage AU that I came up with. I literally just came up with the idea of it, and I only wrote down some of the idea. So basically the whole thing was um, Rambo and Tubbo, are from differing kingdoms that have been at war, right? Like, not at war, but, like, they they wanna... They, they're not the nicest to each other. And so, to fix that, they were like, you know what? Why not? Let's just, like, marry our kids, right? <laughs> and they, they see each other for the first time, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hate you. And then... They do hate each other for the longest time. They annoy the fuck out of each other. And then eventually, they like each other. And then they're like, you know what? Arranged marriages isn't such a bad thing. Um. You know, they get married about, like, halfway through the story anyway. So it's like. Actually, it's actually, like, really early in the story. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I didn't flesh it out. These were ideas for my Draw This In Your Style. The one I did for 250 Um. Yeah, this is the one I used. This was originally going to be um, Event Horizon Speed Duel. And then, um, I really liked this, but the one for my OCs won, which was going to be this one or this one. 
and I liked this better, so I chose it, and I drew them there. Yeah. Um, this is another idea that I had for it. Um, I did end up completing the drawing, I just haven't posted it yet. <laughs> I've, uh, shared pictures of it quite a bit. I put it in quite a few of the artist sports I participate in. However, I don't, I haven't actually posted it in its own separate thing yet. Um, yeah. Uh, this was my, this was my first beloved's comic. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it was the trees too big. Oh, that might, that was one of my favorite interactions with David and Casey ever. Like, <laughs> yeah. And this was David says fuck. Um, and this is when David got out of, um, like he finally was able to change his name back to David instead of Dilfivid. And he was like, guys, look at me. I'm not Dilfivid anymore. And then, and then Ghost being, Ghost being the father was like, oh, hi, free. I'm dad. It was, it was kind of, yeah. It's, it's more funny if you were there. Anyway, uh, that's Bucket Love. It's. It could be an emote if I tried hard enough. It could. But, you know, until then, it's just it's just a sketch. Um, Pretty Woman. Um, This is outsider spoilers, but these were um, little drawings, ideas I had for the stream when Owen, when C. Owen killed C. Rasby. Making that distinction, because some people don't know the difference between c character and creator. But, yeah. That was that stream. Obviously, there's there's blood in this one, so just, just, you know. Um, this is more, uh, Arranged Marriage AU. Uh, this was, uh, this was an idea for the cover of Ad Astra. You know, the book that I made. I didn't write it. Making that distinction, again, because people don't know the difference between making and writing a book. Um, yeah, these were cover ideas. Eventually, I trashed them and just did a simpler cover. Which, by the way, it looks so good, you know? Uh, yeah. But these would have been cool if it was a paperback. Um, more ideas for drawing the Beloveds. Dude, this is the last page I drew on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have reached the end. Um, this is Magic from Magic's uh, lore stream. It was on Friday, I'm pretty sure. Magic in a hole. And, and it bumping into a tree and pulling the cookies out of her pocket and yeah that's that's i finally reached the end after an hour of explaining everything i drew in this book um i've come quite far to be honest between drawing this and this i've definitely improved uh in the last year i don't know if i want to finish this I